This tutorial gives you an introduction to using the Inland Actis Navigation System Radar Pilot 720 degrees. You can operate the whole program using a trackball and a keyboard. The screen shows the Actis chart of the river section you are on. Your ship is visible in the lower half. At the upper end, radar and rate of turn are visible. Range rings indicate the distances. They can be hidden if desired. At the bottom end, status bar and menus are available. You can open and close the function menus separately. The display is built as layers, Actis chart, radar image and chart symbols like traffic signs. If you suppress the radar image, you can see the whole Actis chart. As long as the button is pressed, the radar image is invisible. However, traffic signs, river kilometer and track symbols are still visible above the radar image. There are filter functions available to optimize the radar display. Developed land area is dark brown, undeveloped land light brown on the Actis chart and water is blue or white. The fairway is indicated here with two lines, bridges and the positions of bridge pillars are shown. And even the clearance of a bridge at reference water level is given. You can adapt how much of the information you want to see. Open the menu chart and select between four options. The detailed chart view shows all information, including the depth contours and the river kilometer. The safety contour is always visible. You may also hide the complete chart by selecting Chart Off. This is the chart view of a lock at the Danube River. You can stepwisely zoom in on the button for range. The readability of text and numbers can be improved. Therefore, open the chart menu and set the adequate font size. The Actis chart provides further information as so-called PIC reports. Open the context menu of a chart object by right-click in the chart, for example on a symbol or a traffic sign, and you will see the PIC report. Using the scroll bar, you can see all information. The color white and different shades of blue refer to the depth of the water. The deeper the river, the lighter the color. If river survey data are available, you can see them as depth contours in the display, provided that the display mode details has been selected. In order to see the navigable water for your own vessel at reference water level, you can enter the draft of your ship. Open the menu for draft and adjust the value. The shading of the water display adapts immediately. Each depth difference of 20 cm causes a change in color. Areas of the river which are not surveyed are shown as gray areas. This information is also given in the PIC report of the according chart cell. Long-time obstructions in the riverbed, like for example old bridge pylons, moving gravel banks or dead wood, are easy to recognize on the chart. The PIC report provides under details a description of each spot. For a lock you will find information about the exact dimensions of the lock chamber when scrolling through the PIC report. If you zoom into the chart, you will see that there is also a description of the lock gate. To see that information, you have to switch to the option Details.
The current water level is also given in the navigation system. You can manually adjust the value with left or right clicks or using the mouse wheel. The function menu for water level shows the date and time of this manually entering. If your system is connected to the internet, you can download current water levels from a web service if available for the river. For the Danube River in Austria, there's actual water level information provided by the Via Dono. They send these data from base stations using AIS communication. Radar Pilot 720 degrees receives these data and automatically adapts the display. The new value for water level is shown immediately. The last update of data is given and now marked with AIS, meaning that data have been transmitted from an AIS base station. The selection for gauge stations for Danube River is available on the button. Current data of bridge clearance may be transmitted as Application Specific Messages ASM. Such data are indicated directly at the bridge in a label. The timestamp of the last update of this value for bridge clearance is also given. The navigation system displays the Actis chart and the own ship, but also other ships and their movement. The system identifies these ships as tracks and in the following the different possibilities of track display are explained. The radar detects the other vessel and the navigation system creates a track. Radar echo, heading and velocity of this track are shown on the navigation display. Additionally, a vessel may transmit AIS signals, enabling the display to show data like the name of the vessel or even data like load or destination of this vessel. Information is given in the label attached to the ship symbol. When heading information is part of the AIS data transmitted, the system displays the real outline. Tracking in Radar Pilot 720 degrees integrates all information. To use AIS communication is mandatory for navigation on European waterways. This system provides helpful information not only about other vessels, but also about current traffic conditions. For example, in some countries, real-time data about water level and bridge clearance are transmitted by AIS. Some of the ship data are given in labels attached to a ship. To show the label, open the context menu of the vessel and select Track Label. You can select between long and short labels. To see all information sent by the other ship, you have to select AIS U Static Data from the context menu. There are also inland specific data given, like number of blue cones or status of blue board. A list of all vessels in the area is given under the menu option List. When you select a ship in the list, it will also be marked by a square in the chart. If you set the display to a larger range, you will recognize that AIS detects vessels beyond the radar range. In the function menu for tracking, you can switch on and select the desired label type for all ships. Here you see another ship coming up, which is displayed as ship symbol. A vessel can be shown as symbol or as outline or filled outline. Open the menu AIS display and select the desired vessel display. The system also indicates the past positions of the vessel, either as line or as dots. You can adapt the duration of the trails. The chart also shows aids to navigation or atons that are equipped with AIS. Black squares indicate such an aton. Like vessels, they have labels to be opened by double click.
Atens are used to indicate the real current position of moored buoys, for example, which are drawn in the chart but may move. AIS data about the own vessel can also be entered in the function menu AIS. Open the submenu on the button and select Adjust. Here you can enter for example destination or load or expected time of arrival. The submenu Adjust Inland offers all options which are inland specific. By clicking Program, transmission of data to the transponder is initiated. You can adapt the values for the dimensions of your own ship in the menu Navigation clicking the function button Configuration. You can either move each vertex by drag and drop or enter them manually. The values are given relative to the radar antenna which has the coordinates 0, 0. Please be sure to enter the measurements precisely here to transmit correct data by AIS. Besides radar display tracking and AIS communication, Radar Pilot 720 degrees offers more support functions. For example, the menu Guiding Lines activates the display of lines that follow the normal way on a river. Use the According Mouse tool and select the adequate guiding line to follow. Name of the line and the rate of turn required to keep the vessel on the guiding line are shown. New guiding lines can be created by recording the own navigation travel. You can optimize guiding lines directly on the display. For further information, please refer to the user manuals of the system.